네. 지금 기자 회견이 시작됐습니다. 성추행 성범죄자를 체포하려 하는 경찰 경찰입니다. 중앙 센츄럴 경찰서 서장이 기자 회견을 하게 되고. When did that incident at the library happen? It happened two days after the first one on July 7th. So on July 7th that happened. Can you describe more what happened in that incident? Was it a little girl, a little boy? Yes, there was a young girl. The uh, the young girl in the one on Los Angeles Street was nine years old. The one in the library was 11 years old. She was in the children's section of the library. The suspect approached her from the rear and grabbed her in the exact same way. And where was the families at both of these situations? I mean, was he doing this in front of everybody? Yes, and that's, thank you for bringing that to my attention. Uh, what we wanted to bring awareness to the public is that the family and parents of these incidents were in very close proximity to their children, less than maybe uh, two arms length away. So the brazenness of the suspect to walk up in broad daylight and do this right next to their family is why we're so concerned and we're asking for your help. Do you think he lives around here? Does he have a permanent home? We don't know. I uh, don't know anything about him aside from what he looks like on the video. Uh, we sought help from our uh, sex registrant team here. To see if maybe we could identify him that way uh, without any luck. We've uh, put prime bulletins out to our senior lead officers in the area, distribute that to the community and local businesses, and uh, so we're, we're asking for your help in the remainder of the project. Did anybody follow up on that? Follow up on that since the description seems very similar to the days of art. It may seem like he is homeless or no. Uh, it's a possibility. I'm going to distribute uh, photos and video to you guys so you can get a better look. Uh, his uh, general appearance when he first walked into this clothing store was not that of a local transient or a homeless type. He seems very clean cut. His clothing is in good order. And uh, so I mean, I'm not uh, discounting that he is homeless, but his, his general appearance is good. Detective, have we yeah, talked to anyone at... Target children or... Absolutely. <coughs> uh, well, the two yeah. incidents that we're investigating, he's not after young girls. Detective, to follow up on a couple of questions, do you believe, or have you gone to like the local mission or other places in and around this area that may take people during the day, but they don't stay overnight, that kind of thing? Yes, we have. The uh, the descriptors that we have in the video and the photos that you guys will be getting in just a moment, uh, you know, he would stand out if we if we had a side by side picture. But you know, we have a we have a large population in downtown LA, so it's uh, difficult just to go off over. Detective, can you describe what happened on these incidents? Did anyone? Um him or did anyone try to stop him? What will happen immediately after he committed the act? The, well, the one that we have on the video, you can see he stands around for maybe one to two seconds and then he immediately walks out briskly and then walks away down the sidewalk. The young girl notified her mother almost immediately who went in pursuit of the suspect, but by then he had already left the area. Uh, we checked surrounding businesses to see if any similar acts had happened or if anybody saw him and they did not. We look for any type of surveillance video up and down that particular sidewalk, and we didn't have any left there. Any idea if he left on foot or in a vehicle in either of these uh, incidents? He was seen leaving on foot in both incidents. I don't know if he got into a vehicle after that or not. If somebody finds themselves in that similar scenario, whether it with this person or somebody else, what's the best action for them? In any crime, you want to try to avoid the suspect that's pursuing you. Um, you know, the children in this case, you know, hopefully uh, our parents are keeping a good watch them, keep them close to you, keep them in sight, 